Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through my design process from getting ideas for fake projects to sketching, wireframing and finalizing on my UI design. This is not going to be a design tutorial. I'm not going to design anything or learn how to design in this software. I'm just going to show you how I start and finish a project. Let's get started. When you get started in UI design, it's difficult getting a job because you have no project to showcase to employees or no experience at all. And the best way to deal with this is working on fake projects. You can get fake projects from websites like fakeclients.com or goodbrief.io. Another way I come up with fake projects is by just talking to myself like, um, oh, what if I build a website for this company? So you can take a company like Tesla or something. What if I build a company for this kind of company? And you ask yourself questions like, why do I want to build this website? for who and for what so questions like this can help you work on any project so let's say i want to build um a website or a mobile app for a watch company or a watch um mobile app why do i want to build this mobile app to be able to sell watches over there so in this video our fake project is going to be a watch mobile app and it's going to be an e-commerce one for people to be able to shop watches so when i'm done getting my fake brief which is the watch app we are going to build I head over to Google and just search for watch app just to browse through inspirations for about 15 to 20 minutes. And at this point, I don't sketch anything on it. I just look at inspirations. It's more like building a mood board in your head just to like kind of consume other people's design. When I'm done with that, I close everything and then I take my sketchbook. At this point, I list down all the screens I'm going to build. So I'm going to design a home screen, a product detail screen, a profile screen, a login screen. I list all those down and then I take one screen so for example our home screen i take that and then i also list things under it so our home screen is going to have things like search bar notification icon a text a filter icon a nav bar and then our watches images so i list all these things down before i even start sketching because these things kind of help you to know where to put your things on the screen so when i'm done listing them i draw my you know phone frame like some kind of dummy thing and then i start putting everything inside so i take my search bar and then just you know draw anything and it's advisable like sometimes you kind of have like two three sketches for one particular screen and at the end you pick a favorite one so at this point just browse through inspirations and then come and start sketching your design over here now the next stage is wireframing and at this point i head over to xd and start designing my sketch over there with wireframing i try as much as possible to keep things very basic not very detailed one color one font, just some basic shapes to like show what will go here and what to go there. And this is to like have something like a blueprint for your main design. If this was a real life project, you would send this wireframe or this done wireframe to your team for feedback and then work on it. But since it's a fake project, we'll, we will approve everything ourselves and then move on to our UI design. So after getting our wireframe approved, our next stage is to design our final UI. And this is where colors, images, icons, and text really matters. And you can just go online and then just Google everything. So if you want a search icon, you can just Google them. I will leave a link in the description to where you can download some of all these things. So everything starts from getting your idea and moving to your sketches and then your wireframe and then building your final product, which is our final interface. That's all for today's video guys. I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comment what projects you are working on and if you are going to start using this process. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you are new here, kindly hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video.